welcome to my video living with psoriasis part 2 if you have not watched the part 1 please do so now in this uh, video I will uh, share with you some advice and tips I hope you will like it quick disclaimer before we start I am not a dermatologist or a training professional and this video is made for educational and uh, uh, entertainment purposes only I would like to remind you that if you shop through my links, uh, you will support me and my channel at no additional cost to you. If you like this video or my content, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Rule number one, you always uh, use moisturizer. Rule number two, you always remember rule number one. <laughs> so moisturizer, moisturizer, moisturizer. You need to use it every single day, no matter if you have flat up or not. You simply need to use morning and evening every single day. Uh, the way how we apply moisturizer is on damp skin. So right after shower, when you come out, you, you tap dry uh, your skin and apply moisturizer immediately from head to toes. Check my video about moisturizers here or here, uh, where I will explain the difference between, uh, between humectants, occlusives and emollients. Um, back to our application so as i mentioned you apply on damp skin so the reason why we do it on damp skin because right after shower our skin is um, the water from our skin from inside the skin is evaporating out and with a moisturizer we're stopping it and keep that moisture in so the the number one um, thing you need to do is just stop that water to coming out one of my favorite cream I use, creams I'm using is um, CeraVe cream for dry and uh, to very dry skin. This is a fragrance-free moisturizer, uh, really nice. Um, it, it's um, uh, is non-greasy, absorbs really uh, really quickly. So I like to use it um, basically anytime because if it's something greasy. You, you don't feel very comfortable to uh, to put I don't know jeans on or some clothing, but this if you allow to dry it. So in the morning, uh, after shower, you put the cream right away and uh, just let it air dry. You will feel feel like uh, quite alright. It's a uh, it's really good moisturizer. It has ceramides, uh, hyaluronic acid. Uh, a super super good one uh, super super good one what I'm saying is <laughs> really good moisturizer what I'm trying to say another way how to apply moisturizer if just if you didn't have a shower is to apply thermal water spray uh, before application uh, for example like this one uh, you just go on the face on the body and apply moisturizer uh, right uh, right after so um, uh, thermal water spray are uh, excellent for eczema or psoriasis because they contain uh, minerals um, uh, which they're very soothing uh, uh, for skin uh, they're just fantastic so you, you can just put a little add-on uh, to your uh, skincare routine another great option is uh, Avino Dermadexa Daily Emollient Cream so this and protects a very dry itchy skin. So this uh, so this uh, series of Avino they all contain collo colloidal oatmeal, which is fantastic ingredient for eczema and psoriasis. Um, this one contains what else? Glycerin, which is humectant. Panthenol is vitamin B5, very soothing. Uh, uh, Yes, as I mentioned, the uh, oat and different kinds of oat ceramides, uh, that's perfect. On the other hand, so this is more, it smells a little bit like oat, but not too much. A really nice moisturizer. Um, this I like to use in the evening before sleep. And the CeraVe one during the day because it's more, um, it can dry, um, dry out better. But this one is also super nice. And fragrance free. When you meet someone, uh, someone new, a uh, colleague or a uh, classmate or anybody in your life, simply explain them that you have psoriasis and they have nothing to fear. Because it's really uncomfortable for other person to now look at your 
uh, psoriasis patches and like uh, do we like catch it you know and, and that creates an unnecessary tension and, and stress for both of you so I simply um, learned to just so hi my name is Lenka and I have psoriasis and I'm like what is that also well it's something on the skin but it's non non contagious you don't have to be worried but if you see something like don't pay attention to it and they respond very well to it um, I, I haven't met single a single one person had uh, you know like oh my god like, what's that they like oh okay cool you have this no problem uh, for your home environment or school or car, uh, anywhere you're spending time, uh, you should co uh, control climate. Um, what do I mean? First, get yourself um, a device to measuring uh, humidity in the air. Uh, so optimal humidity uh, is around 60%. And in drier climates like um, in Europe or Canada, uh, uh, humidity dropping uh, qu quite low especially during the winter so it's good to know like uh, or, or where you at to so it's a little uh, helpful uh, device and the second thing uh, you you should get and you will thank me it's a humidifier humidifier is uh, you can um, get uh, either small one if you're traveling in your car um, a smaller one for your office uh, just to have it next to you and at home uh, you can get um, even bigger one uh, which you can move from room to room uh, where, uh, wherever you're spending time just put humidifier there and uh, make that air more humid so humidity is uh, a best friend for you I live in Hong Kong at the moment and here uh, air humidity is naturally high so I don't have to during the warm months uh, use a humidifier but I do use it uh, in a uh, winter months for sure and I used to use it in my uh, office as well because uh, we uh, in at the office uh, you run uh, air conditioning uh, in the winter uh, you run heaters so this is uh, uh, everything which basically drying out the air Another way how to increase humidity in your home or office uh, is to have more uh, plants because plants increasing humidity, furniture or um, carpets or anything else decreasing humidity in, um, in the place. So just make it more green, um, that will help as well. But don't go too crazy with too high humidity. Uh, because your apartment can uh, start uh, growing mildew and it's also too much humidity is not good for, for your skin. So try to keep it between um, uh, 50 to maximum 65 but as fast as I know the 60% is the, uh, the sweet point. If you have a bathtub, you should use uh, colloidal oil uh, therapy like this one, Avino Baby Eczema Therapy Soothing Bath Treatment, colloidal oatmeal skin protectant, steroid free, fragrance free, paraben free, puffalan something free, relieves dry, itchy, irritated skin due to rashes, eczema, poison ivy, oak, sumac, insect bites, but also psoriasis. It's just really soothing and a nice uh, way to just be like every single thing and it's like a one little thing you can help your skin to feel much better so this is one or you can use the uh, salt from Dead Sea because uh, like thermal water spray uh, uh, the salt from the Dead Sea contains minerals like let me just tell you which one forgetting uh, so the minerals in the thermal water spray and dead sea salt are super beneficial for our skin because they contain magnesium, zinc, sulfur, sulfur man manganese, selenium, potassium, bromine, sodium, calcium and chloride. So I will list some options for you for thermal water spray or um, uh, salt from the dead sea in the description box. Uh, and anything I mentioned you can probably find uh, some great options in the description box uh, also you shouldn't take a very long and very hot baths baths uh, should be more shorter same uh, with your showers not too hot not too long 
um, just try to get it done quickly without um, without hot water another thing how to um, uh, you, you can relieve um, a little bit um, itchiness and um, um, dry patches in your hair is to use uh, medicated shampoos like this one Sinocare. okay so this is like t, t slash s gel so uh, i think neutrogena has one uh, other brands uh, they have it as well so basically this one is a fragrance free um, and it contains uh, ba -ba -ba, salicylic acid and a coal tar so coal tar is uh, soothing is anti-itching and salicylic acid will help remove uh, uh, the dead skin uh, and help turnover uh, so it helps control scaling flaking of dandruff itching scalp problems and seborrhea so you can use that uh, for seborrhea as well as i mentioned before uh, you should stop using essential oils and anything with fragrance because fragrance is uh, common irritant and uh, I mentioned as I mentioned before you can develop allergy to it or can worsen your um, uh, psoriasis uh, symptoms so you can get more inflamed more irritated so just skip anything on uh, uh, with fragrance fragrance uh, you can find also fragrance free uh, deodorant you should switch uh, your washing powder to fragrance free or to the one meant for babies um, stop using um, uh, fabric softeners. I haven't used fabric softeners now for about 15 years, uh, so you don't really need it. Um, I know probably you prefer the nice smelly thing when you open your closet, but um, what happens actually, especially in the winter uh, month or basically all your um, summer and winter, when you get sweaty, uh, when you uh, get sweaty, summertime because of the sun, uh, sun winter time because we have many layers of clothing, uh, you start sweating and uh, that will uh, get contact with the fabric and that perfume actually will uh, will transfer from fabric to your skin, which again is bad for you. So try to skip it, uh, uh, and and you will feel better. Uh, trust me, it's a really big change but you should do it immediately just drop the fabric softener and go to fragrance free another tip is always protect your skin that means always use a sunblock you should know if you watch my previous video about sunblock you can find here or here uh, but the last thing you want to get is a sunburn and uh, get inflamed and irritated skin again so don't forget about protection. Sunblock is not only a way how to protect yourself, you should uh, wear sun protective clothing, like broad head, a long sleeve, uh, or avoid direct sunlight. I know um, you probably want to get that dry, flaky, uh, ugly skin off you. And I, I used to use, I, I, I'm guilty of that as well. I used to use um, apricot scrubs. But those are uh, super harsh because they go, uh, what they do is they crushing the apricot pits uh, to find powder, uh, which is actually not that fine uh, because if you would look under a microscope, they have very sharp point edges and when you're rubbing on your skin, you are actually creating micro tears on your skin, which is really bad because you can, again, drive inflammation, again, uh, is really bad for your skin. So instead of a phys uh, physical uh, scrubs like the apricot scrub, you should uh, switch to chemical um, exfoliation. Now I know like, oh my gosh, chemical exfoliation, it, it's scary, but uh, acids uh, are usually derived from fruits, like acid fruit or like lactic acid is uh, derived from, uh, from milk, a glycolic acid uh, is a fruit acid. So you don't need to get uh, freaked out about chemicals because everything uh, is made from chemicals. So calm down and, and switch because it's, it will be better for your skin. Because uh, chemical uh, exfoliants instead of like um, scratching you, they actually will uh, take off that, uh, that um, uh, layer of your skin. A uh, great option is um, 
uh, glycolic acid uh, from uh, the ordinary. Uh, this is meant to be as a uh, face toner, but I a long time ago just figured out like oh, this huge bottle and it lasts very long. Uh, why don't I use it on my body? There are other options with glycolic acid um, uh, already inside the moisturizer, which is a great option, you can just use that, or uh, salicylic acid in the moisturizer. But um, I prefer this one. Uh, I either use it on a cotton pad and rub it on my skin, uh, on my arms and legs, not just my face, so my whole body. Or if I'm, uh, I use a moisturizer and I want uh, to add it on the top, I will not wipe it with a cotton pad, obviously. We'll just uh, pour it in my arm and apply it like that. So that's one option, and glycolic acid. Or uh, another option is uh, 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 salicylic acid wash. This is actually um, uh, is meant for um, acne pro skin, like a um, acne wash for your face but I also use it um, sometimes on my body uh, even if you uh, also tip if you have acne on the face or um, on your back you can use that definitely on your back for your acne as well another tip is when you travel uh, uh, by aeroplane is uh, that you need to prepare your skin before you uh, leave your home meaning you need to apply moisturizer before if you uh, skip on it um, what will happen is that your uh, your skin will get extremely de dehydrated and, and uh, really dry because the um, climate in aeroplanes is uh, super drying. Uh, you, you normally if you notice that uh, your skin looks much worse after many hours of uh, flying. So don't forget to put moisturizers before uh, uh, before you uh, going to the airport. And um, one. Uh, it's, uh, another thing is I kind of like discovered by myself uh, by mistake uh, nobody talks about it I never saw saw it anywhere else but um, one day I got um, compression socks like these uh, they're very light compression not very uh, very strong for uh, flying an aeroplane um, and I noticed that uh, when I put uh, these before flight it actually my uh, psoriasis patches look much better after um, I arrived in the desti destination, took off my uh, uh, socks. I was really surprised. I, I kind of don't understand uh, why this happened. Uh, my um, theory is that uh, something to do with the blood circulation and uh, because I applied the moisturizer, and then put the sock over it so it kind of uh, created extra protection and then it uh, the, the increase the blood circulation this is just my uh, theory I don't know why it worked that well but every time I uh, use the compression socks uh, during the flight uh, not only my psoriasis didn't get worse but it got better every morning I would apply glycolic acid um, toner for the exfoliation um, just in the morning and in the evening time uh, after shower I pat dry my legs and apply the thermal water spray and right after I'm applying a moisturizer this one is by Avino Dermexa I believe And I will apply moisturizer all over and that will help the plastic bag to stick nicely on my leg. Afterwards I apply a steroid cream, obviously only in the area where you have uh, psoriasis patches. And as you can see I have lots of white spots on my legs and that is basically uh, my old psoriasis healed.
Now I'm uh, mixing in my palm uh, cold tar ointment, vitamin A cream and moisturizer. You can add uh, vitamin D cream as well if you have it. And I will mix all these uh, ingredients in my palm. So try to mix it well so you don't have uneven application. So now you can see the amount I use that would be enough for my two, um, two legs, I mean the bottom part of the legs. And once you've done mixing it well, then apply a nice thick layer over the psoriasis patches. Apply rest on the rest of my legs so it doesn't go to waste. So you can get vitamin A uh, cream from your dermatologist. If you don't have it, you can replace it with retinol, but don't forget to wash it in the daytime so you don't get irritation. And in the end, we are applying uh, just plastic bag and usually it sticks nicely and doesn't move very much for me, but you can try to secure it with cling film. That's it. And I uh, kept uh, pictures um, how was my uh, psoriasis patch on the beginning and then three days later I will show you in a moment uh, the progress. So it's a really effective way and uh, you can also do it even you uh, don't have steroid cream uh, at the moment. Um, uh, so you can also repeat just to keep that really nice uh, moisturized that skin so it gets softened and um, uh, the flakiness go away. So that's um, what I do um, and this is my little secret uh, so I share with you uh, but again uh, if, uh, if you're worried you should always uh, consult with your dermatologist as I said I am not a dermatologist but this is something I have been using for many many uh, years. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video please subscribe like, share and hit that notification bell so you can see all my future videos. Ciao, ciao. see you next time! Mwah.